So I'm going to tell you a little bit about ICME for those of you who are not quite familiar and, uh, and I'll go through very fast so that people that are familiar are not too uh, bored. Uh, but we have seen so far talks about the uh, shape of data, we've talked about uh, programming uh, platforms, we've talked about natural disasters, and then networking. We're going to have uh, finance, uh, genetics, linear programming, and space robots. And all of that happens in ICME. So, and it's quite logical because uh, we see ourselves as the glue that brings everybody on campus together. And now before you think that I'm exaggerating, it really is true because almost every area of science engineering really needs mathematics and computational mathematics. And we're one of the institutes, and I would think myself uh, uh, a really good one, that provides that sort of education and training across the campus and also provides the researchers to help on problems like that. So here's a picture of Stanford. There's seven schools in Stanford, but we're associated with six. Each of these pillars represents one of them. Um, and so we are at this intersection, and this is how we see ourselves. We're gluing everybody together, okay? So we do several things. We design algorithms. We advance disciplinary areas by going in and telling people about the latest uh, algorithms that we have designed or that colleagues around the world have designed, and we help implement those. And then, of course, we also train a lot of people through the courses that we teach. And we really uh, like to do that, not just on campus, but also um, outside of campus through online learning, through professional training. And that's what we're working on as well. And we're connected with 20 departments in the, in the school. This is another way in which we see ourselves right in the middle <laughs> of everything. And then all these different departments connected to us. And we should give a prize to the person who knows all the acronyms. Um, now, we have a lot of wonderful faculty. So these are our adoring faculty. We have a lot of very great students and staff, of course. And um, I wanted to show uh, with you can stand up a couple of people that are really instrumental and, and uh, make sure that you're connecting with them. And the first one would be Karen Mathis, who is sitting right there in the, in the middle. She's our Director of External Partners. And if you haven't talked to them yet, and you are a potential external partner or a, a current external partner, please check in with her. She will be around till, I'm sure, late. Uh, tonight. Uh, next to her is KK. He's uh, one of our instructors and he helps run the uh, mathematical and computational uh, finance uh, program as well. And then uh, here is Molly, of course, who's help, helped out with Expo. It's fantastic. Uh, uh, Molly will be around so you can chat with her later. And who else is in the room from staff? The rest is probably all hiding. Um, but anyway, they're fantastic. Here are some pictures of our faculty to show you. They really are there. We have about 54 of them. And because I like numbers here, lots of numbers about ICME that you can read yourself. The most important ones, of course, uh, down at the bottom. Uh, right, so we have, a, indeed, we have three coffee makers, and indeed, one of them is broken uh, right now. Um, so there's a lot of students. We nearly, we almost have 200 graduate students. That's actually what we're going for about five years ago, about half of the size. Uh, but we'd like to grow to where we have about 100 PhDs and 100 master students. Um, they get trained in all sorts of different areas. We have a uh, uh, master's tracks in data science that's in collaboration with statistics. So we have a mirror program just like ours in the statistics department. Uh, we do imaging science, computational geosciences, uh, mathematical and computational finance, which is uh, you can ask KK about. Um, the general master's track as well, and of course PhD program that you can do in anything. Now, we have a lot of activities. As you could see from the previous slide, we teach over 60 courses, um, and, uh, and we have a lot of other activities. We organize a lot of events and so on. But let me just highlight one activity really quickly, and that's a new, relatively new activity that we call WAVE. And those are all our activities connected to data. Now, data is not just the data science or the big data that most people talk about. Um, thinking about social media data or any of the data that we talked about earlier, but also data that come from observations or data that come from, from uh, simulations. And a large part of the Institute works on PDE, partial differential equations, and simulating uh, engineering or natural processes. So we really see them as being completely integrated. But a uh, wave, because we do wrangling, assimilation, visualization, and exploration. 
Uh, here are a couple of examples. We're working on a data science professional certificate uh, that will be up and running uh, this fall. Uh, we'll have summer short courses this summer that will introduce people uh, to these same topics and you will uh, get an announcement of that uh, pretty, sh uh, pretty shortly. Uh, we have developed several project-based and team-based learning courses and, uh, and initiatives. One of them is the ICME Challenge Lab that's run by Bill Behrman. Bill, are you still here? Did he, oh, he's, he, uh, he's probably uh, working on the Challenge Lab. He's running two labs. One is the Challenge Lab where we get students in without much knowledge and help them develop the wave skills, if you like, uh, that they can then uh, apply to real uh, problems. Um, he also runs uh, what we call the ICME Impact Lab, and that takes uh, existing problems, often to do with social good, and with the students over the period of so many quarters helps resolve them. We also run capstone courses, and KK is one of the people running one of these capstone courses oriented around data science and, uh, and finance, and you can talk to him about that later as well, eh, KK? So you're, you're available to talk about it. Uh, I won't go into the details some more um, now because we're running a little bit late, and so let me skip over this, but KK can tell you more. Uh, the other thing that we have started, which has really been fantastic, um, and we had the first conference uh, last November, is the Women in Data Science Conference. Uh, last November, we had 400 people here on campus, and there were 6,000 people following us on the live stream. Uh, we're going to have the second Women in Data Science Conference coming up uh, next year in February, and our goal is to get 100,000 people join us on the live stream. It will be a world live streaming event, and I'm sure we'll get there. It will also have a physical presence here on campus with, uh, with around 400 people because that's the uh, maximum number of people we can fit in that conference center. Uh, but we're really excited about it. And, uh, and I know uh, some of our external partners or many of our external partners already know about this. If you're interested, please let me know. Um, and then you saw the hive, so that's another thing we're doing in data. We have aspirations to build some more. We like building things. So after the hive, we're thinking about hopefully building um, the data cafe uh, coming to you soon. Uh, that will be a very interactive environment where people can come in with their data on a memory stick or they can get it off the network and just play with the latest visualization uh, displays with the latest visualization tools. And we're hoping to have small pods, as we call them, uh, these sort of space shuttles floating in the air uh, where people can do little courses. Uh, so this is, of course, uh, needing a little bit of money. So if you have some spare cash, then we're really <laughs> happy to chat with you about that. Um, there are many ways for external partners to engage, and uh, I won't go into any of the details, but Karen is here to answer any questions that you may have. And I just wanted to leave you with uh, some of the other uh, events that we're going to be having in the next year. Uh, summer short courses are the first. And we'll make sure that we send everybody that registered for Expo the link here when we, we send the, uh, the Expo uh, talk uh, PDFs as well. Uh, we have a recruiting event every fall. That Here's the date, November 10 to 11. Um, the Women in Data Science Conference then February 3rd. And Extrapolate, which is a discussion forum that we have with external partners around an interesting topic last year was data visualization. And uh, we haven't quite decided yet what to do next year, but we're open to suggestions and that is February 27. Uh, and I can't believe that that will be another year. Uh, so uh, it's been very exciting. Uh, we are having a lot of fun with ICME. Uh, we're growing. Um, it's a tremendous experience uh, to be part of this, uh, this group. And I really hope you get a good sense of what we are about. Uh, <laughs>